Okay, here's a bit of a follow-up to the uh, 31 mix deal. I've got 10 turns wound on uh, one of those beads. And real quick, here's what I get. I think I'm running out of battery power. I was surprised uh, how well it transferred from the screen. It's hard to tell on this little monitor and I think I probably need new glasses too. But anyway, 10 turns buys you this. Let me turn this uh, standby here. Listening to the R4B tonight. Lots of static. A couple of guys on 40 meters with big signals there I was listening to. Anyway, here's here's what uh, 10 turns across that uh, ferrite bead gets you. The markers now are uh, 80, 40, and 20 meters. And at 80 meters, the impedance is up, uh, looks like, I don't know, maybe 50, over 5,000 ohms. Let's put it that way. And attenuation looks like about 33 dB, um, 34 dB. Uh, 40 meters is the green marker, and here we're talking about 8, 8k ohms <laughs> as far as impedance goes, and attenuation 38 dB, and then uh, 20 meters is the blue. And let's see, what's that? That's about 5k impedance. And um, 43 dB of attenuation. The curves get a little crazy, I think, due to winding capacitance and other things. But um, I want to take this all the way down to the minimum, which I think is 50 kilohertz, and see what the real low end looks like as we approach, uh, you know, the audio frequencies. Anyway, just a little update. I'm running out of battery power. Keep on tinkering. See you soon.